Paano makapag-America at Europa ang isang high school graduate? As we'll know that a high school graduate or even a college graduate is struggling to find a stable job with a good salary. Some even has had to work as a nanny or a helper just to get through the day for daily expenses while well, some others decided to work somewhere in Saudi or Hong Kong to support their family needs. And most of these people finished college. How much more to those who are high school graduates like me? I mean, it's really hard to find a job when most of the requirements needed is college graduate or have had any experience related to the position you want to apply. I am not a college graduate nor have any degree so it's really hard to find a job that will fit for my high school uh, certificate aside from being a house helper so i decided to uh, go abroad and uh, be part of this program and now i am um, almost uh, six years participating what program am i talking about it is what we called au pair it is not well in the philippines likely only to those who need this program from friends or relatives recommendation and uh, this program is active in America and Europe so for those who have been asking if there's an appearance in America yes I am the evidence and it is under J1 visa program you can search it in Google if you want to know more information about it and so for Filipinos and non-Filipinos who want to live and travel outside your home country maybe this program is right for you if you like it go for it but if you don't then find something you want to do in life but I will tell you it's eligible and not to be part of this program what is a pair it is a French word means on equal terms any young foreign person can participate on this program and the purpose of this program is to give young people an opportunity to learn other countries culture the language and be part of the host family's daily life so if you want to be an au pair first you need to be single not married no children male or female depends to host family's preference number two you must be in between 18 to 30 years old the age limit varies to which country you're gonna participate in america until 26 well mostly in europe until 30 years old number three you need to learn the language and the culture somewhere in Europe learning language is really important because that's how you're gonna communicate with the kids especially five years under and the language course fee is covered by the host family so you have nothing to worry about that like for example in Denmark you need to learn how to write and speak uh, Dansk in Norway Norwegian in uh, Sweden Swedish in Finland Finnish and uh, more number four you need to perform light household duties in which related to child care like babysitting cooking cleaning laundry anything that is related to child care again it varies to which country you're gonna participate in America a maximum of 45 hours a week 10 hours a day while mostly in Europe 30 hours a week 5 hours a day number five you will live with a host family free food and lodging you must have your own room and you cannot sleep with the kids that's important and the host family will give you a monthly allowance again it varies to which country you're gonna participate in America they will give you two hundred dollars per week while in Europe each country in Europe has a different uh, au pair allowance as far as I know Denmark has around four thousand crowns uh, Norway around five thousand crowns Netherlands around 300 euros um, you can search uh, it in Google about Europe's au pair monthly allowance for more information your allowance cannot be called salary since you're not holding a working visa and your visa is under cultural exchange visa so that simply means working outside the family is definitely considered illegal so before you do something that will harm your visa 
think about it wisely it is not permitted in the contract by your pair rules and regulation to do extra work outside the family even cleaning outside the house is not your responsibility i know some girls who were doing it and were being sent home because they were caught in ducks don't get good again au pair or cultural exchange program is not well known in the philippines and i am so happy that i am able to participate in this program i have been able to visit seven states in america in some neighboring country in europe so if you have concern about au pair about this program please feel free to comment down below thanks for watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button thank you